Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, so many of you guys are intermittent fasting, but what if there's a better fasting length for you that goes beyond intermittent fasting? Okay, intermittent fasting. So many of you guys love intermittent fasting, and I wanna applaud you, but there is a next level that could actually accelerate your healing way beyond what intermittent fasting can do. So what I wanna do in this video is walk you through six different length fasts and what you can do to tap into these, to train your body to do it. And ultimately, I want you to pick the right fasting length that feels good for you based off of your own personal health goals. So let's dive right in. So for starters, there are six fasts, and these are based off of the research I've seen. They're based off of watching hundreds and thousands of people fast every single week. They are based off a of clinical trial and error. A lot of information has gone into these six fasts. So let's walk through them. First fast that a lot of you guys love is the intermittent fast. It is 13 to 15 hours. Here is why you would do intermittent fasting. This is your door in to being an incredible fat burner. So if you've been eating all day and you realize, gosh, it's been keeping you stuck in sugar burner, then let's get you over to intermittent fasting, 13 to 15 hours. Now we're training that fat burning system. Research shows that it improves growth hormone, it increases testosterone, you start to get some ketones, you start to burn a little fat. It's a great place to be when you're just brand new to fasting to really lean in on intermittent fasting. But as you will see, there's a whole nother level to go to here. So that's the first step. Second step is autophagy fasting. So this is where you progress past that 15 hour mark. You're now going closer to 17 hours. 17 hours without food and your cells are going to start to become stronger. There is something called a hormetic stress, which is a good stress. And when your cells hit this point of discomfort, they will build themselves stronger. And at 17 hours, what those cells do is they start to look around the cell and they go, okay, this mitochondria is not working right. We've got an endoplasmic reticulum over here that's not working right. We got some uh, proteins in here that are malfunctioning. Let me eat them up and make sure that I get them out of the cell. So with autophagy, your cells get rid of the junk and they make themselves stronger. It's literally like a detox fast. You're detoxing old cellular parts. It's also great for immunity. So when viruses come into a cell that's in the state of autophagy, they can't replicate. So I love this as your go-to fast when, you're, when you've mastered intermittent fasting and you wanna take it to the next level and create another layer of cellular healing. Okay, next one. This one I call my gut reset fast. And in this fast, what you're doing is you're going 24 hours of fasting so that you can stimulate intestinal stem cells. This was a study done out of MIT that showed 24 hours without food can cause intestinal stem cells to reboot themselves and they will actually repair the intermucosal lining of the gut. This is awesome for those of you with a leaky gut. This is amazing for anybody who's been on antibiotics forever, multiple rounds, birth control use for decades, uh, post if you've just been out eating bad food. This is an incredible fast to start to repair your microbiome. Go back and watch the video I did on do antibiotics cause you to gain weight because there's so much juicy information in that video talking about how the research is showing the 24 hour fast is absolutely your go-to fast. Okay, then I'm gonna come all the way over here. Now we've got your fat burner fast. I know a lot of you guys want the fat burner fast. You wanna lose weight. Let me tell you where I came up with the fat burner fast. It is 36 hours without food. And for those of you that are weight loss resistant, this is your fast. This is the one you wanna throw in every once in a while. You push that body just to a point where it has to go find the glucose and the insulin it stored years ago in fat. 36 hours is that mark that seems to push people into more of a fat burning place. So if you've tried these other fasts, 
and you feel like you're not making any progress with those with weight loss, then I got to tell you, as, as painful as it might sound, we got to throw a 36 hour fast in there. So keep that in mind. Okay, next fast, another personal favorite because I'm all about spreading joy to the world. And this is the dopamine reset fast. Research shows 48 hours without food and you start to reset dopamine receptor sites. You create new dopamine receptor sites and you reset the whole dopamine pathway. What does that mean for you? That means more joy. So I hear this from so many people that they start to get to a place in their life where they're just like, I don't know, life's okay, I just don't feel joy. That is dopamine saturation. Your dopamine baseline has gotten too high and it's time to reset it. So at 48 hours, not only is it great for depression, anxiety, and just overall happiness, but you literally reset the system so the smallest thing can bring you joy again. And to me, that's what life should be about. We want you to look at a beautiful sunset and cry. We want you to enjoy the simple things in life, like a good relationship and a good friendship. And a lot of times, in especially our world right now, so many of us have lost joy. And it's not because of our circumstances. It's because we're dopamine saturated and it is absolutely time to reset that system. So throw a 48 hour fast in there every once in a while. Okay, I gotta interrupt this video because I have a free guide for you so you can master fasting. It's called a beginner's guide to a fasting lifestyle. And all you've gotta do is click here and you can jump right in. Last fast, this is the most famous one that Walter Longo did, which basically shows at 72 hours of fasting, you reboot your whole immune system. So the original study was done on people going through chemo. They found that old white blood cells would be sloughed off and new ones reemerge. But this is also great for anybody who wants to prevent cancer, anybody who wants to reset their whole immune system, throw a three day water fast in there, or you know, a lot of people use it for musculoskeletal injuries, chronic injuries that won't go away because you get this massive influx of stem cells. And stem cells, they go to any body part and they start to repair them. So the more you do that three day water fast, the more opportunities you have to self heal and create the stem cell flood into your system. So that is the six fast. This, by the way, I got a new book, Fast Like a Girl. It's a fasting manual for women and it's gonna incorporate all six of these. And it's gonna show women specifically how to use all six of these to heal your hormones. So, but let me know, put it in the comments, which of these six is your favorite and why? Because we are a community here. So I wanna know, I want you all to go into the comments and look at what everybody is saying. And if you're at intermittent fasting, it's time maybe, 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 to go a little bit longer so that we can start to induce more of a healing effect in your body. Okay, are you fasting and you're still not losing weight? Check out this video because you might be missing a key part of your fasting experience that's gonna unlock weight loss. So if you think about it, all the humans that emerged out of that time have the gene that allows us to go without food and that gene they believe is in all of us today. 